It is a totally surreal day for me right now. I, mean, I, I have so many different thoughts going through my head. I believe Rosello, and I believe Eric and Lyle Menendez. It's, rem it's remarkable to feel that there could be a new opportunity for the Menendez brothers to go back to court. Eric and Lyle Menendez have had their hopes dashed so many times. They've been unsuccessful in all the state and federal appeals, and there have been so many opportunities that ended in failure. And now I'm coming to them, and I'm bringing them information that could have an impact on their case. How are they going to react? What are they going to say? You have a prepaid call from... Eric Menendez. Hello. Good afternoon, Eric. Good afternoon, Bob. You, you know that I've been working on a story for a number of years, following your father when he was head of our city records. OK. And we have found somebody who we believe was abused by your father. Okay. As far as I know, there's never been another person that's come forward and said they were abused by your father. How do you feel about that? Uh, I, frankly, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, I, I feel horrible. It's sad to know that there was another victim of my father. No one should have been forced to endure rape or molestation at the hands of my father. And I don't know how many, you know, I don't know how many more victims there are, and I suspect that there are more. Um, you know, I always hoped and believed that one day the truth about my dad and what he did, the great molestation, would come out, that, that I would be believed. And for so long, people just refused to believe it. But I never wished for it to come out like this, uh, as the result of, of trauma that another child has suffered. And it uh, kind of makes me very sad. What, what is his name? His name is Roy Rossello. He was a member of Menudo during what's called the golden era of the group in the 80s, when the group was signed to RCA Records. And I believe I met Roy when I was uh, when I was a boy. What what what? Do you do you have any uh, memories beyond just meeting him? No, I, I don't. But I met uh, many of the boys. I went backstage for concerts or gatherings that they had. Uh, they also uh, invited over to our house by my father uh, because the group members would cycle out. My dad was one of the guys that was uh, choosing and selecting the, the new members of the group. When they were over at the house, he would have private meetings with boys one, one at a time. Let, let, let me st stop you there. Did that seem unusual at all that your dad was going in, into uh, uh, a bedroom with uh, individual members of Manu? It, I didn't question what my dad did ever. I didn't know what was what was weird and what was not, even what was happening in both stations. My father, I, I didn't know that it was not supposed to happen. I, mean, I, was, I was just a kid. That young man is around your age, and he's here in Los Angeles right now. Would you be willing to say hello to him briefly on the phone? He would like to meet you. Yeah, I, I, of course I would. Well, then why don't we make that happen? All right. Thanks so much. Okay, okay. so long. Bye. The Eric and Lyle Menendez that I know are not the cartoon characters that the image people have of them in the media. They are real people to me. The general public thought they were just making up everything they were saying in court about the abuse. It's an incredible feeling for a journalist to be chasing a story for so many years and suddenly realize, I've been right. There is a connection between Jose Menendez and Medu. And having him say that he remembers meeting Roy, I, I mean, I'm... <laughs> 
I'm blown away right now. 